Yo, what's up everybody? Kingdom Marker here. And before we start this video, you should subscribe to me so you can get awesome like content like this. Um like the video because this video is awesome and it deserves likes. And comment a good comment so I can feel happy in life. <laughs> and um follow me on Twitter and Instagram so you can DM me and stuff like that. You know, you know, things things that can be cool so I can talk to you guys. So um this video is gonna be about how like black children being sick versus white children being sick and so um by you see from the last video i was talking about how i was sick and and crap like that yeah i wasn't feeling too good and so um friday morning i told my mom mama i can't go to school today i feel sick and she was like get your behind the school you gonna finish the star test go turn in that project and they called me after that star test now i'm like okay mom and so i went to school right Feeling all bad on the stars test. Like, surprisingly, I do pretty good. Like, I think I got, like, committed on it. You know what? Well, it's the practice stars test. I got... You know, okay, I'll stop. Yeah, so I did pretty good on the stars test. And I went... I called her after I did the stars test to pick me up. Like, before, you know, three class periods later, she come in, like... So, Derek... Um, so... Is this Cedric? Is this is Cedric? No, Oh, so Derek to the front office, please. So Derek to the front office. And so, yeah, now I'm coming to the front office. Like, mom, like, you took took all this time. Like, I, I turned in a project, and I did, like, a surprise um vocabulary test in language and arts. What I did, I got an 80 on it, which is pretty good, considering I didn't study at all on the STARS test. Well, not the STARS test, the um vocabulary test. And so I'm, I'm sick and crap. And so now I come to um, my house, laying in my bed, right, you know, feeling sick and crap. And she said, all right, son, if one hour wake up, clean these toilets, um, clean up the kitchen, vacuum your room, clean up your room first, then vacuum your room, clean up my room. Just kidding about that. <laughs> but yeah, she told me to do all this crap. I'm freaking sick. Like, what the heck? Like, I, oh, that was stupid. <laughs> That's just weird. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why black parents do that. And then, um, yeah, like, in the whole weekend I was sick, and she was, like, forcing me to clean these dishes, clean my room, like, cook breakfast. I'm all like, Mom, I can't do this stuff when I'm sick. You want to get everybody else sick? You know, like, like, I still have to do it, though. Like, nobody got sick, but, you know, that sucked. And, uh, Monday morning... Yeah, Monday morning I was feeling sick again, but like it got worse because now I'm coughing other than sneezing and I was like increasing my chances of throwing up. And so I tell my mom, Mom, I'm, I'm about to throw up, man. I can't go to school. And she all like, boy, you better get your behind the school. Get your education on. Do your STARS test and just go to the school. And after you do your STARS test, call me. And so I called her after the STARS test and guess what she told me? She told me, stay your butt at school. I'm like, mom. I can't. I am sick. In reality, I, I had to stay at school. I was I was feeling actually pretty better at the end of the school day, but I was feeling pretty bad at the morning, and at the moment. And uh, so this is versus how white people get sick. <laughs> like, like I'm not trying to be right. No, Caucasian, Caucasian people get sick. And so uh, one exaggeration is that well, you're barely you're barely sneezing. You're barely coughing. Your temperature is at a 97.7, which is, um, normal. And like, oh, sugar, you gotta stay home today. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling well, though. Stay yo behind at home. I'll bring you some iced tea. I'll give you Mickey D's. Peanut butter jelly sandwich, just like you like it. I'll bring you hot Cheetos. And you don't have to go to school for the rest of the week. I'm like, mom. I am feel fine. I got stuff to do this week. I got, I got exams, Mom. No, see, CJ, stay at home and make sure you feel better. I'm like, Mom, you know, fine, Mom, fine. Like, I know one of my friends, like, I know he haven't been sick all this time. Like, I think a month, he was sick like about five times this month. And I'm pretty sure that he was a sick majority of that time, like. All the times he was sick, well, as called, quote, unquote, sick. Quote, quote, unquote, did I say that right? I think I did. Yeah, quote, unquote, sick. Yeah, yeah, he stays home for, like, one, like, two or three days each time. 
So like, I don't even get it, man. Like, I don't even get it. And yeah, yeah well, I, I I might as well add something else in that also got on my nerves about how um. Like, I told my mom, okay, mom, I have all B's this year, so you're going to see me at the B honor I'm like, oh, good job, CJ. You haven't had that for three years. I'm like, yeah, I haven't. And so, um, so I'm all like, okay, what happened if I had A's and B's this time? And so she says, oh, CJ, I bought you that guinea pig today. Because, you know, my recently my dog died, and I wanted another dog, and then she wasn't going to give me that dog, and then she offered to give me a guinea pig. I'm all like, all right, I think about it, and then, like, I guess now I'm getting a guinea pig, and so, yay, mama, well, mom, um, I have all A's and B's, mom, what, uh, what, see, what, no, yeah, mom, I have A's and B's, and like you said, it's gonna have to give me that guinea pig today, mom, so when you come home from work, you better have that guinea pig, that's what I said, I know, I know, right, I, that's in respect, I should've got slapped in the face, anyway, <laughs> and so she's like, well, I, I was under the influence, I'm like, no, mom, you gotta give me that guinea pig, cause you said it, and you don't wanna be a liar, do you, I'm like, well, I was under the influence. I was at work. Uh oh. Mm -mm. You gotta give me that guinea pig today. And then so that um she came home with no guinea pig. So I'm all like, Mom, where that guinea pig at? She's like, Okay, son, we're gonna be looking at some guinea pigs today, but we ain't gonna buy none. I'm like, Yeah, yeah okay. And yeah, so we went to look at some guinea pigs. She's like, uh, I'm not really feeling it right now. So I'm like, Really? No, oh, you said you're gonna give me the guinea pig. And then like um. When we was leaving out, my mom saw this one little cute dog that kind of looked like my recent dog. Well, my previous dog, Kiwi. Yeah, she died. I, I, I'm kind of sad. Not really. <laughs> uh, that dog hated me. She she bit me for no reason all the time. Yeah, so um, she was looking at that dog. I was like, oh my gosh. I think he love or he or she. I don't know if it was he or she. Oh my gosh. He or she loves me. She was licking all over and didn't even want to leave. Licking all over, mama. No, oh, sorry. And so, yeah, um, so she was all teared up because she saw that dog. So I'm like, well, mom, you should really get me that dog I wanted. Nope. So now, she not gonna give me no guinea pig that day. So she just lied to me about getting me, get, getting me a guinea pig. Like, like, it's not really a big deal, but the fact that you lied to me twice, like, in the past she said we were gonna go to Legoland, and now this, like, man, I don't think I'm ever gonna get none. Not a trustworthy person. And so, um, well, yeah, I guess that's the end of this, um, rant video thingy. My furry first one. I, I kind of like doing these. And, um, yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, rate, as in like, no, no dislike, that, that dislike button is not there anymore. Um, uh, rate, comment, comment good comments or, like, suggestions or crap like that. And subscribe. Peace.